Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is part two of the Thirsty Collection review slash video. First one was the Getting Ready With Me and this look as well as another one. I did a cool tone look with the Thirsty palette, which is this baby here. So now today I am dipping into the lipstick shade. So there are eight new shades and there's Thirst Trap Soft Serve 818 Yummy Coral Fixation Cherry Wet Fudge Pop and Huntington Beach. I am currently wearing Cherry Wet. In my last video I I show you Fudge Pop as well as Yummy, which is a gorgeous shade, but let's just dip right into the lipsticks. So of course, just to mention, there are four new lip scrubs. We only received three as PR, which is minus grape soda. The ones we did receive are Rainbow Sherbet, Orange Gummy Bear, and Pink Lemonade. So these smell insane, like ridiculously good. So the Rainbow Sherbet is green, and it smells so good. I'm probably going to put some on in between lip swatches, but I'm not going to put it on right now because I do have a beautiful lipstick shade on already. And Pink Lemonade is like an orange, actually. It's not pink, which you would almost expect. It smells like lemon. You would almost expect it to be a little bit more pink versus the orange that it is. And then the last one is Orange Gummy Bear, which is definitely an orange. So those three are also available. They sell for $12 as usual. And yeah, um, now that I got those out of the way, let's jump right into the swatches. So the first comparison I'm going to do is kind of a weird, weird one, but I did post in the Jeffree Star groups that I'm in. I will link those groups down below in case you're interested in joining them. But it, it was Thirst Trap against Peach Goddess. So I know that sounds kind of unusual, but it makes sense because, yeah, it's like, can I do a liquid version of Peach Frost, Peach, of Peach Goddess? And what does it look like? So I'm going to swatch it side by side with Thirst Trap. So Thirst Trap doesn't swatch as well um, single layer. It did take two layers, as most metallics do, especially the lighter ones. I think what was the last one um, that took two shades or two like looks? What is it called? Two swatches to build up. But see, so this one here is Thirst Trap, and then this one here is Peach Goddess. So actually, I can kind of see the comparison. Like if Peach Goddess had a little bit more pink to it and was in a liquid form, that's what it would look like. So that's actually a pretty good request. Next shade I'm going to swatch it to. I think I'm going to do some duplicates, like some shades that you wouldn't think I would swatch them next to because, hmm. So I'm just going to begin swatching and then I will show you them at the end at which shades I'm comparing them to. Because if not, then this video would seriously be like half an hour long and I have a feeling it's going to be pretty long already. That's why I did it into two videos versus the one. So first up for comparisons, we have Peach Goddess next to Thirst Trap. And then next to that is First Class, followed by Butt Naked, followed by Christmas Cookie, followed by Skin Tight, Hunty, and I'm Nude. So Hunty is this one here, and I'm Nude is the one on the bottom. And I felt like these were the palest nudes I had. So that kind of is why I wanted to swatch them next to each other. And I thought it would be kind of interesting. And I'm really surprised that there isn't really a, a liquid lipstick regular version compared to it, except for Peach Goddess. Like, I'm blown away. That was a surprise in my opinion. Like, I was not expecting them to look alike. But there they are. Those are the comparisons to Thirst Trap. So the next shade I'm going to swatch is Soft Serve. It's kind of a pale, peachy, pink nude. Very similar to the, in my opinion, 714. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this for you now. And I'm going to swatch compared to a couple of shades that I thought might be close to it, similar to it, or maybe even identical to it. Okay, so next up was Soft Serve. And I swatched Soft Serve right here, which is the second shade in. Next to that one, directly to its left or right, I don't know, is going to be the original formula of 714. And then on the opposite side is going to be Nude Beach. And next to that one is the new formula of 714. So next to the new formula of 714, if my camera will focus, is going to be Nathan. Next to Nathan is Chrysanthemum. And next to Chrysanthemum 
is skin tight. Top to bottom on the bottom is going to be butt naked. And then I, I swatched Gemini for some reason. I don't know why I did that. And then I'm nude. So that's what all of those look like in comparison to Soft Serve. If my camera will focus, there we go. So Soft Serve is the second shade, which is actually really pretty. And it's a prettier version of 714. So like I said, 714 is the fourth one and the first one in. And Soft Serve is the second one. So that, those are all the comparison shades that I could pull out. That I thought might be close to it, except obviously I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, so the next shade is going to be 818. And I'm actually going to swatch that one next to Soft Serve, just so you guys can see the comparison as far as both of them compared to... 714 because I feel like they're combined to equal that shade like I feel like both of them could be dupes for 714 except not really if you know what I mean so here we have 818 and it's alleged dupes in my opinion so the bottom one is going to be watermelon soda next to is 818 and then next to that soft serve and then the old formula of 714 and the new formula of 714 followed by Nathan this last one here is Romeo from the new from the latest collection and the bottom is going to be Nude Beach. So as you can see, the closest one to it is Soft Serve and 714. So that's pretty crazy. Or if you mixed Soft Serve with Watermelon Soda, then you might be able to get it. But damn, that's a beautiful shade. That's what those all look like. Really, really pretty shades. So the next shade is going to be Yummy, which is kind of a metallic-y pumpkin basically perfect orange like a burnt orange and I'm in love with this so I'm gonna swatch it next to a couple of shades okay so from uh, this side off to that side I can never figure out if it's left or right we have yummy followed by pumpkin pie followed by flamethrower followed by allegedly and then we have Checkmate and Anna Nicole. So those are the oranges that Jeffrey has. And Pumpkin Pie and Flamethrower mixed together would possibly make it. But that is such a gorgeous freaking shade. So this is the new one. This is yummy that I'm talking about. So the next shade is Coral Fixation, which is a bright, like hella bright orange. And that's actually super pretty and very appropriate. So I'm going to swatch that one next to a couple orange shades and a couple red shades. So coming from this side, we have Coral Fixation, followed by Red Rum, followed by Checkmate, followed by Flamethrower, followed by Red Rum, and then at the bottom I have Yummy Swatch, just so you can kind of see the oranges all together again. There's not very much comparison. I mean, I guess you could say the first three look a lot alike under the side lighting, but Checkmate and Anna Nicole definitely have a lot more red, whereas Coral Fixation is definitely more of a bright pink. And I don't know why my camera's not focusing, but see the orange in that versus the red in that. So the next shade is Cherry Wet, which you saw me wearing in the intro part of this video. And I'm just going to be swatching it next to a couple of shades that people requested slash I thought might be dupes. So on the Cherry Wet swatch comparisons, this is Cherry Wet from this side. Next to that is Watermelon Soda, soda followed by Prom Night. And then there is Wifey, Masochist, and at the bottom, a Red Rum. So if you look at Cherry Wet to Red Rum, if you combine like Watermelon Soda with Red Rum, then you would maybe get Cherry Wet. But other than that, there aren't very many comparison like super close shades. This is such a pretty range of shades, though. Ooh, baby. So the next shade is Fudge Pop. So this one is a chocolate brown metallic shade that is absolutely beautiful. And if you watch my Getting Ready With Me slash palette review video, then you will see me. I wore it with my first look.
Honestly, I can already tell you I don't have anything like it, but I still wanted to swatch it compared to a couple of shades that you guys might find fun to look at. So don't mind the stained hand, but from this side, we have Family Jewels, followed by Budge Pop, which is a new shade, followed by Dominatrix, followed by Pussy Whip. So that's what those look like. As you can see, it is clearly a metallic in comparison to the rest of them along with Pussy Whip. Those are really pretty shades. This would be such a pretty ombre slash eye look. Oh my gosh. So those are the four comparisons there. So the last shade is Huntington Beach. And this one is a super unique shade. It's clearly named after Jeffrey's hometown slash I believe where he graduated from. So it's a beautiful, I want to say teal, even though Mermaid Blood was the original teal. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one next to what I believe were the most comparable dupes. So those there are the swatch comparisons. I threw in equality from this side, followed by Huntington Beach, and then we have Mermaid Blood. So as you can see, they're pretty similar, but Mermaid Blood is definitely darker. I don't know if my camera is focusing. Yeah, there you go. And then next to that is Medusa, followed by Crocodile Tears, Mistletoe, and then at the bottom, I have Breakfast at Tiffany's. So I know they're not dim like the same, but I thought I would throw them in. Just so you can see the, the greens in comparison to the teals. Uh, those are such fun colors. Like, seriously, you need them all. And that was it. Those were all the swatches. Those were all eight shades and comparisons. I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked the way I did it. I like to do it a little bit more cohesive so you see all the shades swatched and then compared, swatched and compared. So if you guys like the way I did that, then leave a like down below and let me know what your favorite shade is. I actually love this shade. Like, I was not expecting it to be this freaking pigmented. Like, if you look up close, it's basically not streaky at all. Like, there's, like, a little spot there that you could do a second coat on. But I was expecting to do two coats of this because I think Mermaid Blood took two coats. It kind of built. You had to build on it. But this one is, like, ooh, hockey season needs to come back now so I can use this. Like, this is going to make, make a wicked liner. I have an idea. Okay. All right, next video. So the one shades that took two layers, I would say soft serve. It was way pigmented but it could use a second layer if you wanted to and then thirst trap it was pretty damn pigmented especially for a, a metallic but it could use a second layer as well so that one is one it didn't like you know sometimes when you wipe a second layer it takes away the first layer this one didn't do that which is really good and then of course 818 it didn't need one, but it could use one if you wanted it. So, of course, that just depends on your lips, depends on how pigmented you want it to be, depends on how big your lips are, because, of course, if you have bigger lips, I have average size lips, and it's going to be, like, more, it's probably going to take a little bit more just because um, the wand is going to apply less. I'm talking, like, dip. That's what it takes as far as layers go. But other than that, the rest of them took one. Fudge Pop, I guess you could say, took two layers, but I think it just, I don't know. But I do love this collection. Like, damn. I didn't think I was gonna. Soft Serve is one of those shades where I'm kind of like, I don't know if I like it. But um, when I was swatching Thirst Trap, in my head I was like, wait a second. I'm 90% sure that I had an Avon shade like this. Like, I used to steal my mom's Avon and I'm pretty sure that that was one of the shades. In fact, I think I still have a box of the lipsticks that I wore when I was in high school. I'm gonna sort through those and I'm gonna find it. I'm going to find it, I promise you. And almost Fudge Pop. Like, I feel like Fudge Pop also, there might have been an Avon shade for that. So I will let you know, know down below. But that concludes my review of the Thirsty Collection. Like, I, I loved it all. There were some problems with the eyeshadow palette that if you haven't seen my video, watch it. It's linked down below. Um, I, I did break them up into two parts. So let me know if you like the way I did that. If you guys don't like that and you guys want me to keep doing one long video, then let me know as well. I, I try to get all the comparisons that you guys asked. I try to answer all the questions you guys asked. And yeah, uh, not very much to talk about. The drawing time is just about the same. The formula, I feel like it's gotten better versus worse. I know there was a little bit like a little period where it seemed like the quality might have been you know losing like we might have been losing the, the good quality the, the jeffree star cosmetics formula that, make, that we all learned to love and you know 
grow with but I feel like it's it's all gone back to that within these last like, few collections so I'm, I'm really excited for this collection yummy and coral fixation lord have mercy those shades are absolutely stunning like especially with this look here that I did I was like I never want to take this off but I did alas I did and here I am in Huntington Beach so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, I am RLQ Rosie on Instagram. You can find me there. If you are returning, I absolutely appreciate you. I love you. You guys know that. Like You guys are amazing. You guys are the reason why I do these videos and get no sleep. So if you guys think I don't like the shade, it's because I'm tired, okay? I've, I've been up all day, and it is now midnight 30. So, yeah, I hope you liked this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.